Brighter Day, brought to you by Draft, America's favorite brand for dishes. Maybe I will be an old maid. There are worse things. But the man who wants me must want me as I am. A rather plain girl. But I can't help that. I'm me. We'll be back with a brighter day in just a moment. Now, here's Leonard Sterling. Doesn't it get you down when you have a series of colds in the family? You feel as if there ought to be more you could do to help prevent colds from spreading from one person to another. Well, listen, the way you wash dishes, the kind of suds you use can affect the number of colds in your family. So my advice is, always wash your dishes with Dreft. Why, Dreft in your dish pan can help protect your family's health as no suds ever could before. You see... Public health authorities, doctors, have discovered that germs can breed in dishwater film. Now, if you've seen slightly cloudy glasses, you've seen this germ-breeding film. And even dishes that look clean can still carry this dangerous film that often spreads colds and flu. But the amazing thing about Dreft is it never leaves any germ-breeding film. That's how Dreft helps protect your family's health. Dreft washes dishes healthfully clean, free of film, as no suds ever could before. So always wash your dishes in thick, rich, dreft suds. Give them a hot rinse, the hotter the better. Then let them drain dry. They'll shine even without wiping. They're healthfully clean. And just by washing your dishes this easy, dreft way, you may actually help cut down sickness in your family this winter. So heed the warning of health authorities. Help protect your family's health. Wash your dishes healthfully clean with dreft. Now, the brighter day. This is the story of Liz Dennis, 25, going on 26, minister's daughter. Liz, who holds all that brood of Dennis's together with strength of will and her darning needle, her cooking spoon, and her own high heart. Once upon a time, this was the story of Jerry Forrester, too, until he decided to marry someone else, not Liz. But on Christmas Eve, and then again yesterday, Jerry came back to Liz to ask, Liz, have I made a mistake? Well, the family is moving at the end of the week. What will Liz do? Right now, it's about 8 o'clock at night, and kid sister Althea bounces into Liz's room and... Listen. Liz, are you going out? Because I'm going out, and if Donald calls up, I want... Liz! <laughs> Liz, what are you doing? Uh, I, I was experimenting. Now I'm going to take it off. Take it off? Nothing. Look at me. L- let me see. Well, Liz, you look wonderful. Eyebrow pencil rouge. Mm-hmm. There's the kit your new sweetie pie sent you. Oh, Liz, you look absolutely red. He's not my sweetie pie. Just a low ruffian with a low sense of humor happened to send me a Christmas present. Is this the way to put it on, Althea? Mm, not bad for a first crack. Who's your date with tonight? Oh, and you're wearing your new nylon. Well, I... Hey, what's his name himself? Hasn't come to town, has he? The man who sent you all this stuff. As far as I know, Mr. Clifford Sebastian is safely tucked away in his newspaper office 300 miles away from here. Oh. My dates was... Well, it doesn't matter. Go away, Althea. This stuff comes off the soap and water, doesn't it? But why take it off? Frankly, Liz, it brings you out. You know, you're not nearly as plain as you let on. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Oh, oh, this was a... Oh, just curiosity, I guess. Liz Dennis doesn't wear eyebrow makeup. Listen, Liz. Maybe it's time to change, Liz Dennis. I don't mean to awaken any painful memories, but do you know how Jerry Forrester got away from you? Hmm? It's very simple. You put on a little dab of powder and you feel dressed up. A Rose Riddell would spend an hour putting on her face. With a little makeup, you're not homely, Liz. In fact, it's, it's very surprising. It sort of brings out the natural modeling of your face. Maybe it's your natural coloring or something. Well, oh, I'm so glad you're wearing pretty stockings, too. You know, you're always, I'm always surprised what good legs you have in high heels. Usually you slap around in those flatties. Now, here, uh, let me turn up the art job. No, no, thank you, Althea. No. No? 
Now what? Maybe you're right about my general lack of femininity, but not tonight. We won't turn over a new leaf tonight. But it isn't your lack of femininity. You're feminine enough. In fact, I don't know anybody more feminine. It's the fact that you won't fluff it up. So what's with tonight? Who's your date? Doesn't make any difference out here. It's a friend I'm meeting in town. Your lecture is very sensible, and some other time I will let you make me up. <laughs> Maybe. Liz... Honey, do you want to do the dishes and be a cook and never get married all your life? I do do the dishes, Althea. I do cook. I can't keep nail polish on my nails. I do make my own clothes, but my face is my face. If the man wants me, he'll have to take me that way. I, I'm not Althea. I'm Liz. Jerry will have to see me tonight the way he's always seen me. Mm, have it your way. If you want to be an old maid... Jerry! Your date tonight is with Jerry, Jerry Forrester. Well, Oh, I did let it slip out, didn't I? Not really a date, darling. Well, he wants to talk to me. Now, excuse me, Sister Lizzie wants to wash the war paint off her face. But, and then Liz, I... here's your opportunity. Oh, please, please, please let me make you up and have no. those nice stockings. I'll give you my little hat with the feathers. Oh, you look so cute in no, it. No, And that gay dress you got for your trousseau. Oh. And Liz, I'll squirt you with my good Adam. No, oh, in fact. Oh, you're knocking cold. Are you weakening? Well... Should I keep telling? <laughs> I'll see, I'll see. Thank you. First of all, I know she says no. Liz, you want to be an old maid. You do. I've said it many times, Althea. If I'm to be an old maid, so be it. I can think of worse things. The man who wants your sister Liz will have to want her with soap and water on her face and a dab of powder on her nose. And you'll have to want her for Liz. The cop. Before you... I, even I felt jealous. <laughs> even you... Well, now, that's a very great compliment, isn't it? I'll see you, my angel. Maybe, after we move, maybe I'll start wearing a little makeup, but not tonight. Jerry has to decide this not on the surface, not because of eyebrow pencil, but on the basis of what's real. So do I, I guess. Decide what, Liz? Is something being decided? Why, maybe so, darling. I... Oh, I'm late. I'll have to run. Excuse me, sweet. I must wash my face. Nice of you to meet me here, Liz. I thought it was best I didn't come to the house. Ah, I'll forgive you. Hope it didn't keep you waiting, Jerry. Uh, let's go into the grill room here. It's, it's quiet. All right, Jerry. How's your mother? Oh, she wants to see us later tonight. See us? Go ahead in, Liz. We'll, we'll talk. <laughs> oh, good. There's a little sofa we can sit on. The place is empty tonight. I haven't been here in a long time. Oh, then you do remember. And it wasn't really so long ago, Liz. We were here just a month ago. Seems longer. May I help you off with your coat? Thank you. Oh, this lining again. I, I thought I'd fixed it, but now it's going again. Oh, thank you, Jerry. Well, what are you looking at, Jerry? Isn't my face clean? I wasn't looking at your face. Yes, I suppose it is clean. I was thinking of the torn linings in your coat. Decided? Hmm? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, what do you want, Liz? A coat? Oh, buy me lemonade. Uh, one lemonade, please, and I'll have a glass of draft. One lemonade, one draft. Same old Liz, isn't it? Same scrubbed face, same white collar, crisp and clean, same sweet smile. No, Jerry. No what? I'm not the same. You look the same. Oh, what's changed, Liz? Oh, for instance, when we move away next week, maybe I'll begin wearing makeup. I think I've let myself slip. Oh, I do brush my hair a hundred strokes morning and night, but... It shows. It shines. And I always do brush my teeth morning and night. You have beautiful teeth. And I wash my face with soap and water. But, says Sister Althea, that way doesn't lie great beauty. You have a wonderful face. Oh, Liz... Shall we begin our quarrel, Jerry? Shall I tell you what I've come here to say? Shall I tell you that you can hurt a person just so long and and then something happens? They get tired of being hurt? Well, don't say it yet. First, let me say my piece. I've been rehearsing it. Oh, excellent. Jerry first to the last. He's been rehearsing his speech. He wants the first word, and he always wanted the last word. 
Very well, Jerry. Who am I to reform you? As always, I shall let you have it. Proceed. You're mad, aren't you? At you? No. While we've been talking about my face, I've been looking at yours. Wondering what's gone out of it. You used to glow, Jerry. Was that me, or, or was there really a little glow around your head? What do you want me to say? That coming to your old place like this has set my heart to dancing? Meeting you lets me see what I've lost? No, Jerry, it's not working. Will you let me tell you what I've come here to say? Go ahead. I have several things to say to you. I... I know that I've hurt you, Liz. I know that I'm not fit for any woman. Least of all a woman I've hurt as badly as I've hurt you. I think that I have only one hope of becoming a... a decent human being. <laughs> My mother agrees with me. I... I could make all sorts of promises, Liz, if... if you'd make one promise. If you'd help. You... You... Could we, Liz? Because I... I can't drown myself in that swamp of money. Drown my self-respect. No, not even for Rose I can't. Something happened when I saw Rose again. And what happened wasn't good. Liz, this is a man in need begging you. Could we? Start again, I mean. Jerry. I need you, Liz. I need you. And what will Elizabeth, Susan Dennis, say to that? Liz goes to church to try to find her answer tomorrow. that draft in your dishpan actually helps protect your family's health as no suds ever could before? That's right. When you do dishes with draft, you're helping to cut down on sickness in your home. I'll explain. Public health authorities, doctors, have discovered that germs can breed in dishwater film. Even dishes that look clean can still carry this germ-breeding film, can spread colds and flu through a family. But the wonderful thing about draft is it never leaves any germ-breeding film. Draft leaves dishes healthfully clean, free of film, as no suds ever could before. Try it. Always wash your dishes in rich draft suds. Give them a hot rinse and let them drain dry. Dishes are so clean they shine even without wiping. They're healthfully clean. So heed the warning of health authorities. Help protect your family's health. Wash your dishes healthfully clean with draft. This is Ron Rawson inviting you to listen again to The Brighter Day, brought to you by Dreft, America's favorite brand for dishes. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.